What the hell? Christopher Larkin is just a genius. Hey, what's up? My name is Alex, I'm a music producer, and today I'm going to react to the music of Hollow Knight, as requested by the people over at my Patreon page. I'm going to listen to Hornet and Mantis Lords. I haven't heard these tracks in the game yet, because I only played two hours. So let's go with Hornet first. Interesting baroque vibes with this like chamber string ensemble here. Okay. Oh! Oh, shit. I love this. Wow! This is a chamber ensemble of strings so far, and that's why it sounds so agile, which tells me this Hornet enemy is probably gonna be an enemy that jumps around all over like a very classy, elegant warrior who don't, you don't even see coming, and before you know it, it hits you. I'm telling this because this is what the strings sound like. This is very different from symphonic orchestral music. Symphonic orchestral music is something like this. Much bigger sound, right? That's because in a symphonic orchestral context, you have a lot of instruments. While in a chamber orchestral arrangement like this, you may have something like four string players, which is a much more intimate sound. Because there's fewer instruments, it's easier to hear all the details. So when they play super fast like this, it's actually very cool. This whole vibe reminds me of something like Venetian snare, Hajna. That's the kind of virtuosism you can have in uh, chamber orchestral music, which is super cool and very different. Wow, I love that. Damn. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's what I'm talking about. Whoa. Wow. I love the colors. That crazy thing that the violin was doing, that's called arpeggio and if you take it by itself, it sounds something like this. But what blew my mind is the fact that when that arpeggio takes you away, it leads you to a chord change, which sounds super cool, which is this. This track is elegantly showing us around this room of wonders, which is, I suppose, the boss fight versus Hornet? Wow. Wow, how, whoa, okay. That is a very elegant, very smart way to write music. Like, I wanted to count how many times we hear that ba da 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 motif. So, let's go. Okay, first time on violin. Okay. Second time, and what sounds like a cello or viola da gamba. Third time, say like a small repetition. Fourth time, and he keeps on changing instrument or the octave. Fifth time. Sixth time. You can latch yourself to it and attach yourself to it and be like, yes, I know this. You can vibe with it very easily, but it keeps on surprising you because it changes quality very often. Very smart writing. Complex on one side, but also very easy to remember. Sounds very cool as well. This is like the trifecta of a good motif. The thing that I love a lot about this track is that there's no percussion and still it sounds very action packed. All the rhythm is in this like these string staccatos that play super fast. This track was conceived in such a logical way that makes it sound like science more than art in a way, but it's also freaking artistic because it's beautiful. It's like a, this perfect balance between something that sounds smart but also sounds very cool to hear, which is not easy to accomplish though. Wow. All right. That's such a... Whoa! Damn! That is such a very, like... That, <laughs> I kept being bamboozled. That's such a cool passage. It goes to places that you don't expect all the freaking time.
incredible composition. Honestly, I feel like I've become a better composer just by listening to it. Let's listen to Mantis Lords. Oh shit. Oh damn, this is some Castlevania. Where? Yeah, what? <laughs> Sorry? Wow! Okay, so that, I love, I love those kinds of rounds and those kinds of like arpeggios. If you listen to it, it sounds cool, but if you look at it visually while you listen to it, this is what it is like. It's like, you know, a freaking roller coaster for real. It gives a sense of vertigo. And also this sort of instrumentation, again, makes it sound like some freaking vampire music. And whenever you hear that instrument, the harpsichord, it sends a chill down your spine because it sounds very sharp and very cold, very spectral. So to have that in a piece of music already, it's like, damn, this hits different. And I love that. <laughs> what the hell? Like, okay, Christopher Larkin is just a genius. There's never a dull moment. The amount of notes that he's playing per second is ridiculous. You have to understand, the complexity of a song is not only based on how long it is, but especially on how many notes it contains. Making sure that every single one of these multitude of notes fits together with the other is extremely hard, because you can really very easily clutter a song up to the point that it becomes a mess. It's as if Christopher Larkin right now is like cooking a cake but he's putting thousands of ingredients in and somehow the cake still tastes as good. How the hell does he do it? This requires an understanding of music that is like beyond the normal. Wow, beautiful call and response. And again, like, wow. I love that! I, wow! I love how he like presents a motif, a melodic idea or something in a very small way, like here. That idea, and then as it goes on, it develops it. <laughs> that, that movement, he's been playing that for quite a bit before this part even kicked in. But he's been doing this color response like da 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 ba da it's like flirting with this idea and then after a while he presents you the full width of this idea by developing it further melodically. But when he does, you kind of know it already because he's been, you know, flirting around with it for quite a while with a color response. So I believe Christopher Larkin is such an insanely good composer, but he is also very, very, very much aware that his ideas are probably not very easy to understand. So he's writing them and arranging them in such a way that pretty much everybody can understand them because he's giving you instructions as you listen to the song. Like, oh, check out this motif. This motif is gonna dominate the next part. And then it dominates the next part, and it accompanies that with lots of like embellishments and stuff, and there's these beautiful chord changes, which are like, like this. Listen, if you take this chord change and play it on brass, this is what it becomes. And by the way, this movement totally reminds me of Visions by Haken. Absolutely ridiculously beautiful song. But what I love about this chord change here is that when you put it on brass, it sounds evident that it's epic as heck. But when you put it in this arrangement, with this instrumentation, it becomes a lot more implicit. The epicness is still there because, I mean, the chord progression is still the same. So you're really saying the same thing through a different lens. But it's a bit more implicit, so it's more elegant and less in your face. I suppose this reflects the nature of this game a lot. Hollow Knight, for what I've seen, is not like this super mega triple A title with lots of explosions and stuff like that. It's a more intimate experience, but still feels very real and very epic to you. The way in which the music is this like small sized chamber orchestra compared to what you normally hear in video games, which is like big orchestral symphonic, is a perfect metaphor for the Hollow Knight being such a small hero compared to like the freaking super heavy armor, huge swords, badass heroes you see in many video games. That's pretty cool. Well, that went dark very fast. That sounds wicked. That sounds very wicked. Holy shit. And again, you want to... Do you, do you want to decode the implicit level of darkness that is implied here? Well, let's orchestrate it in a much more big way. Let's 
literally very similar notes but a whole different vibe i love that i love how in this soundtrack yeah honestly if you like this stuff you should listen to some classical music because this is extremely classical inspired very cool to hear stuff like that in a video game special thanks to connor kingaroo at patreon for requesting this amazing soundtrack by the way there's a new request thread coming up today for the patreon people who support the channel so if you want me to analyze any piece of music from any video game you like go there and write your comment i will leave a link down below in the description and i'll see you next time with a new reaction video bye bye